Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay, the Divine Feminine, the Empress, whether male or female, you do have something to celebrate coming here. A lot of what has happened to you um, was all a part of the plan. I'm just going to hop right into the message, you guys. Keep in mind that this is timely, so whenever you hear it, it's when you're meant to receive it. Seven of Swords here, I feel like there's been a little bit of self-deception here. A lot of projection has created a lot of illusions around how you see, um, I mean, how you perceive success, how you perceive, um family things like that and you're coming out of that yeah you're you're finally releasing here four of pentacles here okay some of you could have been in an energy wow a lot here with family okay it's like you have a beautiful family that's coming in but you had to release like i said a lot of your illusions about family that had you kind of stuck in this um sort of cold detached type of situation some of you here um some, somebody out here could be afraid about becoming a parent due to your own childhood. Someone here I'm hearing is very indifferent about having a family. Like you want a family, you want love, but maybe you juggle oftentimes between should you just focus on love or should you focus on money? But you're a little bit afraid to have both. This energy is being cleared out or you're needing to clear this out. There are some kind of outdated self-limiting beliefs here that you're holding on to. That you want to try to really, yeah, definitely. Family values here. What you've been taught needs to be addressed. But, oh, you've got something so beautiful coming in. Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Lovers. Very fast moving energy here. As, long, as, as soon as you release something here, there's something in the past that you need to go back in and look at and reflect on it. As soon as you release it, boom. It's like you hit the jackpot. This is good really good endings and new beginnings we're in scorpio season eclipse season um old energy is being eclipsed out new energy is coming in queen of pentacles yeah see you have to let go of something here that you've been holding on to so that god can actually bless you with what you actually need which is this very beautiful connection this new path that's going to lead you to legacy success victory rewards recognition and it's something that's in alignment with your values now your, your values have shifted and changed. The three of pentacles. Some of you, um, you're going to be very influential with whatever it is that you're doing. I feel like people are going to watch you. Yeah, this is the manifestation you have that's coming in after being heartbroken. You can I'm definitely seeing someone here sharing their story. Yeah, victory and success. This is the platform, Eight of Pentacles, working, working very hard to show how you overcame, like, heartache, pain, suffering, loss, okay? Showing other people what you did or, or how you went about manifesting. I feel like I'm talking to someone here who is some type of creator or you are in the process of becoming like a creator and influencer. This has been coming up a lot. A lot of people are stepping into their own authenticity and you're working very hard um, through you mastering yourself, having this strength and this courage. It's like some people are really gonna start showcasing this. And it's going to be a real game changer because a lot of people have lost hope. Like I said, they're indifferent about having happiness or family. Through you, people are going to see that it's okay to release, to let go of heartache, pain, things from the past, old, outdated beliefs, and to actually go and be happy. That's really good. I like that. Definitely like a spiritual leader with the Hierophant being here. You could be a motivational speaker. You could be a TikToker. You could be a reader on YouTube. Or, you know, wherever. Knight of Swords. Something is coming in quickly. It's this healing. Um, this stardom. From you being authentic. You being happy. The King of Pentacles is here. Queen of Pentacles is already out here. The Lovers and the Ten of Pentacles. So for some, you're definitely being rewarded with a very beautiful connection or partnership here. This is also demanding for some of you of uh, relationships with like your mother and your father here. 
healing something in your lineage, in your bloodline, in your family. It's opening up the gateway to you having a very happy, peaceful, harmonious type of relationship with someone else. All of this stuff is connected, you know. And maybe that's what you're going to, you're needing to go back and do is heal some family issues. Something, some family secrets or issues that you've been holding on to has made you a little bit cold or indifferent about having a family of your own. So by you healing, because King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles to me is like mom and dad, um, husband and wife. Um, here you see like the, the elder here by listening to wise count, um, counsel respecting your your elders healing something within the dynamic with your own family is going to make you believe in love again possibly or just make you see it differently this type of healing is going to like catapult you into whatever it is like the victory and the success that you want is going to come in much quicker I feel like you're going to assess and evaluate what you've seen. Some of you may be in therapy or needing to get into like therapy. I'm hearing like past life regression for some reason because you may be receiving some type of download here where you are uh, being asked to write or paint what you see. It's going to help you to recognize that maybe how you see yourself is not true it definitely could be like some type of shadow work healing that's helping you with your manifestations six of swords here you're moving on a piece of calmer waters after feeling like you just want to give up on some of you have felt like you want to give up on your healing journey you felt like you were hitting a brick wall don't break because your breakthrough is here and it, it's, it's much bigger than what you thought it would be. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups. It's okay for you to love. It's okay for you to trust your intuition. It's okay to feel. It's, it's becoming safe for you to love again. Look at this. The Sun card is popping out. And look at the Nine of Pentacles and the Tower. So there's a, a, a clearing that's coming with this Tower. What's behind that? Queen of Swords, yeah. Setting boundaries here. Setting boundaries. Moving on. Moving beyond the, the the challenges in your life. Dropping the burdens. Yeah, walking away from anything that's not emotionally fulfilling. Spirit is saying, yeah, everything is fine. With all the swords in your back still, everything is fine. Because this is what made you who you are. This is a part of your story. Your destiny is calling you. So go ahead and take action now to see the truth about something. But still go out in the world and be open to love. Because there's a person here who's ready to accept the cup of love that you have. Wow. King of Wands. I feel like people are watching you take action. This could be male or female, feminine or masculine. But some people are watching you um, become very passionate about taking action here. I feel like this is specifically for feminines. You're being asked to go out and, and be open to love. Because there is a person who's going to love you despite whatever has happened in your life. That may have made you... Um, Feel indifferent about starting a family or opening yourself up to love. And then I feel like for the masculine collective, people are really about to start seeing you become very aggressive, um, very passionate, ambitious, like assertive about a brand new beginning. Maybe you've been kind of resting and, and not taking action. It's time now to take action. Yeah, it's time out. Someone, you have to get to the root of why you keep juggling why are you juggling relationships? Why are you having instability in your home life or your finances? Why are you taking on more than what you should? It's time to go within and really study this. Some of you, you need to study your finances. Where, where are you losing money? Where are you spending too much money? Is it time for you to budget? What are you spending too much? Are you spending too much time on social media? Like It's just time to assess and evaluate everything that's happening because you have love coming in. Love stresses some people out, though, because this love that's coming in for you is going to require you to give up control. And you have control because you're afraid to be hurt because of maybe what you've seen happen in the past. Some of you have gone through separations or divorces. 
you're not, you know, with the mother or father of your children. And that has possibly left you feeling a little bit wounded now about starting over. You're just over it. Or maybe you felt that way for a long time. Like you just, you really don't want to be open to love and spirit is saying, no, for my feminists, go out there. Love is waiting for you. There's a person that's going to love you despite, you know, you having children or if you've had financial issues or your body has changed, whatever. Somebody, if you feel like you've given your best to somebody, there's a person that's like, well, I'll take the rest of you <laughs> and I'm going to love it. You have masculines out here who you're going to start to see them take action because they have to meet the feminines where they are and, you know, vice versa. It's just time for people to start coming together, collaborating and believing in love again after the hardship. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Take a leap of faith to have this security, this stability. The divine is coming in, making you a huge offer. It's you're manifesting a new reality for yourself. And it's it's very, very beautiful. You can trust it. Oh, the temperance. Yeah, two becoming one. Temperance, peace, balance, harmony. Finding your rhythm, finding your flow. It's okay if you have one foot in and one foot out right now. But the, the point is that you're learning how to manifest. You're cleansing and clearing. It's like you don't have to keep being stressed out about what's coming towards you because it's coming towards you very quickly. This is your justice. Someone is rushing into your life. This could be a friend, okay? For some, though, it's a lover. It's a partnership. This is your justice after a lot of conflict, after being in a lot of one-sided relationships where it was unrequited love or there was no reciprocity or, you know, no equal give and take. This is being blocked out. You're being protected from that now. This is so good. Ooh, four of Wands and the Emperor. What? <laughs> Anything low vibrational is being blocked out because you already planted the seeds for a brand new beginning here to have a new cycle where there will be monogamy if that's what you want. No longer dealing with illusions, confusion, or the type of people who have multiple options. Though you're going into something very stable, solid, it's secure. The moon card is here. Being mentally drained and exhausted from illusions and confusion. That, that time of your life is over. You've become the, the empress. You have arrived. And your person is... Whoever you, you share this connection with, they're doing the same thing as you. So you and someone are mirroring each other perfectly. You're both working on mastering yourselves. Yeah, this is a very strong connection. You're both putting in a lot of work. Because I feel like right now, a lot of people are just sick and tired of being sick and tired of being at a crossroads here, feeling entrapped. This entrapment has had you isolated. This is going within an awakening, an ascension, a spiritual upgrade. Really seeing the truth behind everything that is hidden. In your life, um, internally, externally. Yeah, judgment is here. This is your wake-up call for sure. No more hangman energy. No more being stuck and stagnant. You've learned all that you can learn from a particular person, place, things, or situation, or cycle. It's now time to come down from the tree. This is your wake-up call. Like You already know what you need to know. Way too many cards. Five of Cups. It's time to let go of feeling regretful about things. It's not going to open anything up for you. All is not lost here. Be careful not to focus on the negative because it's what's going to manifest. There's a lot of changes. Five, five is out here. Nine of Wands. Don't be in that wounded warrior energy. Yeah, put an end to that. This wounded warrior energy no more crying over spilled milk. Six of Cups. This is just being in grief about the past. You're being asked to manifest now and to let go of anything dark. It's going to have a, a very, very negative impact on what you're trying to manifest. You're being asked right now to really step into this energy of being ambitious, assertive, take charge, bold, courageous. Let go of the trauma bonding. Let go of whatever is living rent-free in your mind. 
definitely something from the past here. Needing to heal things from childhood. Some of you could have seen your parents divorce at an early age and it, it left you a bit wounded, scarred. Some of you, maybe you never saw your parents together. Whatever the case is, this is wounding that has to be released. Yeah, so that you're able to take action because there are offers and proposals of love and just new beginnings, even in your career and finances that are coming in. So you have to come out of the cold. <laughs> there's there's really two people who are trying to make their way to each other. You have the uh, Page of Pentacles here and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like it's a feminine here that's like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to come out of the cold and I'm going to put my offer out there. And you have a masculine that's like, yeah, I'm on my way too. This is cute. It's cute. So this looks like um, partnerships coming together. Partnerships are loading in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> As you guys can see, I am totally a night owl. Yeah, it's four o'clock in the morning and I'm as bubbly as can be. What is this going on in love? Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. So for some of you, this could be someone coming from your past. It doesn't have to be longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Uh, probably is. <laughs> someone is like, listen, let's just, let's do this the right way now. So you and someone, you're mirroring each other. They, you both had to go and heal situations. So for some, this is healing family family issues for some it's healing financial issues everything ties together though everything is energy you know um if you are dealing with issues that's affecting you energetically you know like your love life you know if, if you're not being loved properly or you don't feel like it's safe for you to love that's affecting your your finances as well or if your finances are, are if you're experiencing challenges and that it's harder for you to love or be loved Everything is tying together. So it's sort of like right now, there's this divine intervention that's coming in that's forcing a lot of people to really just get balanced. And for the people who are truly in these um, partnerships, like soul connections, you and this person, your souls are mirroring each other. So you're longing for one another and the longing is come is becoming stronger now because as you are growing evolving and elevating that person is is being forced to do the same thing some people are going to meet you where you are and some people you will you'll just have to release them but this to me is an energy of two people being able to come in and say okay i think i'm ready to love now I, it feels safe let's let's go with this slowly but this is two people who are coming out of the cold and out of some type of lack mentality two people who are afraid of commitment who are afraid of love who are afraid to start a family or start over in a family this could be some people here who have been married and maybe you know you're getting back together you've been separated and you're choosing not to go through with a divorce because maybe in the separation you're realizing that you had some shadow work and healing. You were under some type of illusion about life, about love. Like I said, success, finances, and other things that needed to be healed. There's been some type of toxicity here that you needed to put an end to for there to be a, a rebirth and a transformation. If this is not you connecting with someone from your past, this is just now your soul is longing for its mate. You're longing for your soulmate because you're clearing this energy out. But with all of this regret here, um, this feels like this is someone that you've been with. Yeah. Someone is, is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Yeah. See, someone, you and someone were on different pages at some point. You're finally getting on the same page. You're, you and this person are both thinking about each other like... Maybe you want to give this a second chance. Yeah. Because you've learned some type of spiritual lesson here. Ooh, this relationship is moving towards a sacred union, marriage. 
So it was some type of healing here, learning how to trust yourself and trusting yourself. Now you learn how to trust this person. Maybe you just needed support. Maybe you and someone you couldn't support one another because you had trust issues. This person wants to apologize now for not being available to you to give you all that you deserve. But the chemistry that you two have is mutual. This person could have acted like this situation was strictly sexual or maybe you felt like this was something that was just very passionate, but it wasn't enduring. But maybe, you know, this person truly is your twin flame and you have to accept that everything happens for a reason. You're in, maybe you're in denial about the fact that this is truly your person. The saying, try something you've never done before. Don't dismiss the red flags here, but you know, this relationship can stand the test of time. Maybe... May, I just feel like there needs to be some kind of heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to have to apologize. Apologize. Someone may have to relocate. Someone maybe is thinking about relocating, working on their health. All right. It's just, I feel like two people are trying to get themselves together. And as you're getting yourselves together... It's bringing you back into alignment with somebody. So for some of you, and you know the reading that I just did, and I, I'm, well, I'm going to post them later today, but um, I was talking about how a lot of people have been under heavy, heavy spell work and manipulation um, because people have conjured up all of these entities to kind of make like your person, your true counterpart, like turn against you. Some of you, you have been attacked by a person that you thought was your twin flame. And they happen to be a past life karmic soulmate or you were um, being attacked by someone that your twin flame was involved with to make you turn away from this person. They conjured up something like there's been a lot of manipulation, but with this eclipse energy here, a lot of that energy is being cleared out. You're going to really start to see the truth, but whoever you are, you're, you're going to end up with whoever you're, you're in alignment with. Some of you, honestly, you have several different energies that are going to be coming towards you because your energy is going to be so beautiful, so light, like the true essence of who you are at your core is going to draw so many people in. But there is, for, for many of you, an actual counterpart, like a, a true twin flame or soulmate that is really, really yearning for you. And I feel like both of you most likely have learned some type of spiritual lesson or you're in the process of doing that. And this is something that has the potential to turn into marriage. Yeah, it's up in the air right now. You may not know where you stand with the person. Okay. Because someone here may be in poor health. I feel like this is poor mental health or their spiritual health is poor. Okay. Someone here is needing to work on some addiction, some bad habits. Okay, someone may just really need to go to therapy. Like maybe you and someone, especially if this is for those of you who are in relationships or marriages or separated, maybe it really is time for you to try therapy or counseling. Or some of you, even if this is situations with people in your family, maybe it's time for you guys to go and do like some group family counseling sessions to really get to the bottom of why these situations keep being just tossed up in the air. I feel like once you get to the bottom of whatever this issue is and you find the effective way to communicate there's going to be good news you're going to receive good news someone is going to most likely reach out to you soon oh yeah because you've been isolated very much emotionally detached maybe you needed to do that to go within I'm hearing too, for some of you, you need to check on like your friends and family, the ones who are isolating themselves. Maybe they need to hear some good news or some affirmations because, you know, check on your strong friends and family members. Some of you, you're dealing with people who, um, they're having issues with their stability and it's causing them to be in poor health. Their mental health is not good and they could be isolating themselves. You could be dealing with someone who deals with, you know, some depression, PTSD, or something like that, okay? But also, for some of you, just by getting a handle on whatever is causing you to be unhappy or this person, you have a lot of happiness coming in, especially if you've gone within and had an opportunity to recharge, to rest, retreat, rejuvenate. 
work on your health. Yeah, here, something here is trial and error. Being willing to try new things. I'm really getting therapy here. <laughs> you have here hot mess and fragmented and mountain, yeah. Someone's gonna have to go ahead and take the step to realize that you may need some help in how you're seeing something. You don't see the full picture. Some of you also, you're experiencing like a, a lot of fluctuations in your health, especially your mental health or your energy because you're sharing energy with another person. Some of you like this, this twin flame energy is becoming very, um, very, very heavy. This person is tapping into your energy. So if, the, if they're going through a rough patch, you're feeling it. So it may feel like a lot of stuff is happening at one time, like you're facing a lot of obstacles and challenges. You're going to have to know that in this situation, you're going to have to have a bit of patience. Take take this one step at a time, but some a lot of this energy is not yours. Be mindful of what you're thinking and how you're doing as well, because for those of you who are in, you know, these like divine connections, you always have to be mindful that if you know for a sure fact like you're sharing <laughs> sharing a soul with somebody else, if you're in bad health or anything, they are too. They can like though this is for people who are really, really connected. What you feel they feel. Your pain is their pain. Stepping stone, manifestation, and birth. Wow. You have leadership here. So there's a lot of chaos here that has led to a lot of sadness. Someone's going to have to take a step. If you want this to be successful, someone here, it's time for you to start over. Because it's like two people manifesting one another, but nobody's taking the step to start over. And I feel like two people are longing for one another and both reinventing themselves right now or starting some type of ideal or project. I think the reading I did yesterday where I was talking a lot about growth and expansion, a lot of you, you are going to reconcile with the person and you're going to like be going into a new chapter of your life. Their person wants to be a part of their chapter. So it could be, you know, you making a large purchase. It could be a new job or promotion. You starting a business because you and this person are both individual in your individual lives you're reinventing yourselves they don't want to not be a part of that new journey or, or you don't want to miss out on the opportunity to be a part of their journey because the cycle you know the truth is, is that everyone doesn't close out when you talk about closing out a cycle that doesn't always mean that you're ending a relationship with the person you're closing out the cycle and how you react how you respond and how you communicate you're you're closing out the negative things that are happening within that relationship or that friendship the dynamic it's time to change that there's hope for some people to come together i i'm i don't want to seem as a reader oftentimes people need to get away from their past but the past, leaving the past behind it doesn't always mean leaving that person it's how you and that person do things that you need to leave behind that cycle of dysfunction. Because here it feels like there are some people who have an opportunity to come together because maybe they truly are meant to be together. But there needed to be some type of growth, changes and healing for this to actually come into fruition. And if you're doing the work, then that, that's possible. Maybe it was just bad timing. And you, you just don't know what you don't know. Sometimes, you know, you don't realize that you have family issues that need to be resolved. You know, a lot of people go through financial challenges and, and other things in life. And it, it changes that the dynamic in your relationship. Some people, they got knocked off their path and they're getting back onto their path. And they're learning, they're growing, you're striving, you're thriving, you're doing well and there's an opportunity for you to come back together with someone or you know if it's not a person you're coming back together with just to meet a person who's truly a vibrational match for you you have here devotion and attraction 
Yeah. You're attracting someone who wants to be dedicated to you, devoted to you, who has like an unconditional type of love. Like, but it's your energy that is going to make you very attractive to someone. It's your confidence. It's like I said, you you knowing who you are, you being confident in your ability to have stable finances and be able to run a household and be in your life purpose. You just have to be very balanced for this type of connection. Um, I just saw the memories card. So like I said, for some of you, this is definitely someone from the past and there was disharmony in this situation. Maybe the two of you, you needed to slow down. Maybe you, you and someone, you got together really, really quickly. You thought you were ready for love, but you didn't understand that there were issues and challenges that you needed to work on. You needed to heal family issues, or maybe someone didn't really have their money together. It was a third party situation. Whatever the case is, there was some kind of disharmony here. And it was based on, well, there's attraction and someone knew that they wanted to be with you, but there was too much friction here. So you're needing to address whatever these issues are. And if you're going to come back together with this person, slow down. What's yours, it'll never pass you by. But some of you, you know, if this isn't you getting back together with someone just as you are dating, be willing to let someone go into an actual courtship with you where they get to know you. You don't want it to be something that's based on attraction, chemistry, and it's just, sec you know, strictly sexual. Because you don't fall into a relationship because you're just being passionate and you're trying something you've never done before. Not if you want marriage. So know where you stand. If you if you want something casual, cool. But if you know that you really want marriage, then you can't be in denial about you accepting people who are unavailable and they don't offer you support. So it looks like this is just an energy of a lot of people figuring out what they truly, truly want for themselves and out of a relationship. And this could lead someone back to you or you back to a person, or this is just opening you up to the pool of candidates that you really would see yourself being with in a long-term partnership. Take it however it resonates. Oh, breakup. Yeah. So... There's a reconciliation here because some of you definitely, you broke up with someone. I just feel like the situation, it moved too fast. It moved too fast. There was strong, strong chemistry attraction. Definitely could be like a past life type of connection here. The vibes seem really nice. Passion, chemistry. This person though probably is like a twin flame or a soulmate. There's potential here to go into a serious committed relationship that could possibly even lead to marriage, but you had to slow down possibly even break up and separate to um, resolve some of this disharmony within the connection. And this could have just come from a lack of self-love. Um, I feel like for some, you could have gotten into a connection. And honestly, in the beginning, it was, a, it was based on some type of codependency. And you had to be careful. Telepathy just came out. So yeah, you and someone are yearning for each other. You're communicating telepathically, but there is separation because you need to be focused on self-love and healing. Because for some of you, this is your person. So if, you, if you're physically with this person, you know, you, you're you all over each other. You're you're moving really fast because your, your soul is, is dancing a jig with this person all the time. <laughs> You're telepathically communicating. You're sharing thoughts, feelings, emotions, dreams, and everything else. But you're also sharing your toxicity. And that's what needs to end. And to end that, you both have to go in and do the shadow work and healing. Let go of some options as well. And make the choice to be focused on one another in this relationship. To support each other emotionally, physically, spiritually. Love is in the air. <laughs> yeah, deeper intimacy and courting with divine union here. Somebody don't want they don't want to play anymore. They're they're ready to come in and be the real deal. That's what I'm saying here, honestly. It's time like you you and this person have an opportunity to come back together. 
I, I just feel like this was something that started out very passionate. You know, like twin flame connections, oftentimes you come together because your soul recognizes that person and it just moves really, really fast because of the familiarity of that person's energy. People don't always get to know each other. And it can just become very karmic in nature. This looks like a, a situation where two people um, who are pretty self-aware, you can recognize that there's karm like karmic lessons here that need to be learned. You can see the potential of marriage and being devoted. You're highly attracted to this person. There's no denying it with, with the, the strength of your telepathy and everything with this person, but there's disharmony here because of family issues, financial challenges, other lovers and options, exes, just drama that needs to be resolved. And I feel like you and this person, you can come together, you can slow down and you can really get to know each other. You can have an actual courtship where you focus more on intimacy, not sex, but actual intimacy, being emotionally close, allowing yourself to really feel safe with this person. That's going to actually make you feel extremely desired by this person and make you want to be committed and devoted like a, a actual life partnership. But there could have been a lot of doubts, fears, insecurities, immaturity here, a lot of control issues. This has a lot to do, I feel, with the example that you've seen around you with your friends and family. Someone also could have been listening to what their friends and family were saying about this type of connection. But I feel that here, there's just a lack of representation. You and this person, you didn't take time out to listen and to really reflect on what it is that you wanted because... I don't really think that you took time to really get to know certain sides of a person. You didn't know the other side of this coin. You thought you were ready for love, but you didn't pay attention to some of the red flags. But very soon, I feel this person will be making a reappearance in your life. And you and theirs. Looks like you had to create um, some boundaries here. But this friendship is leading to more. It, this connection can stand the test of time and you have here and now. So your person is already a part of your life. Your true love is already part of your life. The timing just isn't right. Yeah. It says you already know the answer you seek. So trust your intuition. Working less and having more fun will help strengthen your relationship. So for, for some of you, you and this person, you've both been extremely focused on fixing things in your life or maybe that's how it was when you first came together and it can kind of put you in that trauma bond like energy like oh i'm so focused on my healing journey i'm working on this you and this person you didn't really get to know each other i feel like both of you were preoccupied with things in your life when you came together whether this is someone that you recently met or someone from several years ago you just weren't that focused on one another to offer that emotional support at the time you came together. But now you've learned a lot of spiritual lessons. And so you can actually give this person the best of you. Um, I don't know what this deck is called, but let's use it and then I'll close out. Yeah, I feel like somebody was unawakened at the beginning of this journey. Maybe didn't really respect the journey. Maybe even said they didn't believe in it. <laughs> but there's a strong mutual attraction. Oh, romantic offer. And forgiveness is here. So, yeah, you can expect some type of romantic offer, a proposal. Um, maybe someone's going to give you flowers. So for some, it could be an engagement or an offer just to take the relationship to the next level. This could be, you know, going into a union with someone. Someone here, you have forgiveness and compromise here. Okay, there could have been cheating here or deception, like some type of third party 
interference here. For some of you, this is a situation where it, it may not have been you and this person were in like a committed exclusive relationship, but because this is like your twin flame or soulmate, you were very, very connected to this person. And therefore there was a lot of expectations here. It says your twin either wants to apologize or it's time that you release the past and forgive them for what they've done. This will help you to heal from the past. So it's time to compromise here. If that's what you want to do with this person it's you either, sh you know, Poop or get off the pot. Um, that's just, you know, either you're going to move on from this person or you're going to have to find it within yourself to truly accept this person's apology or make the apology. You both probably need to apologize for one another and practice a bit of forgiveness here to heal from the past, to allow this new energy to come in so you can come out of whatever that toxic karmic cycle was. Or even if you're not going to be with this person, you still need to heal from the past that you had with this person so that someone new can come into your life. And this is going to take communication and compromise. Like you have someone here that's ready to meet you halfway. You and this person are yearning for each other. <laughs> Running and chasing, exactly. You and this person, you, you keep going back and forth. And it says here, karmic, you're running and chasing. You're going to keep doing this running and chasing until you heal whatever this, this karma is between the two of you so that you can move forward either with each other or to someone new. So find out what the lesson is here for you to learn. Someone may need to just let go of a karmic, but you have marriage. It says with great patience, you will achieve the, you will achieve the commitment you're looking for. This will be the kind of love many only dream of finding. Wow, this person is watching you. <laughs> or you're watching this person. Mm. Some of you beware. Because you have a false twin flame that's watching you. And they're projecting a lot of their energy onto you. This is a repetitive cycle with someone who has commitment issues. So make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Okay. Okay. Just be careful. Like I said, during this time, I, maybe I mentioned this in another reading, the veil is very thin. A lot of people are going to try to attach themselves to your energy. So this could be, like I said, a reconciliation with someone or you just needing to forgive a person from your past. Um, you could really be picking up on the energy. And sometimes you guys, you, you're just, you can't come into union with your twin flame, but part of the... The journey is you coming into union with yourself, which is the same. You are your twin flame. Um, so you coming into union with yourself and forgiving yourself and learning the importance of communication and compromise is going to either allow a romantic offer to come in from your actual from this person that's your twin flame or. Um, yeah, your twin flame could be someone brand new. Some of you have a person that's in your life. I'm not going to call, you know, false twin flame is a term that a lot of people don't like. But it could have been a a false twin, uh, like a karmic soulmate that you thought was a twin flame. And you will recognize that they're not a twin flame when you meet your true twin flame. But someone is watching you closely. And you'll know. You know, if you're around a person and you feel very drained or like you and this person are just incompatible, no matter what you what you do, or they refuse to offer a commitment, um, always giving you excuses as to why they can offer you connection and there's chemistry, but there is no commitment. You may need to just go ahead and recognize that this is a running and chasing type of dynamic with someone who's karmic It's not going to change. Forgive yourself, forgive that person and start to open yourself up to a person who wants marriage or the commitment that you want. Yeah. Don't allow a person who's addicted to toxicity to keep you on a cycle. So it's, it's a little different for, for everyone. A lot of you, you have an energy that is trying to come back in and, and they haven't changed and you should be able to recognize that but for some of you you have an energy of someone that's coming back and they are totally in sync with you and they want marriage with you so you have a person that's in sync with you who wants marriage and you have a person that's also in sync with you 
that is karmic. Okay. No relationship is perfect or going to be easy, but you shouldn't have to be at war with the person either. Okay. You're either going to work with this person or not, you know. Do what you know feels good for your soul, not just your flesh. <laughs> okay. And they can be hard because sometimes a person in your life that is very karmic that you need to let go of, you can feel very, very drawn to that person. But that doesn't mean that they're always good for you. All right. So you have to take this however it resonates for you and your situation. But um, love and commitment and good things seem to be in the air for those who want it. Um, people have an opportunity to help, to fix and, and mend their marriages or relationships some of you are preparing for that like i said you may need to heal yeah codependency is the first card that came out addictions are affecting your romantic life this situation is calling for you to have faith so that could have been the karmic situation here some of you you met someone and it was a trauma bond it was it was based on you still had um some codependency issues or they did both of you did this is what drew the two of you together. And there was some type of karmic energy that needed to be resolved between the two of you before the, you could both trust one another. Children is here. Someone here could have been in a relationship with someone where they had children and they were very codependent on their person or their person was codependent. Flirt, yeah. Release your ex. Playfulness, yeah. Yeah, this could have been someone you had to free yourself from because they were in some other situation, not really giving you equal give and take. You're being told now to keep an open mind. Um, your person could differ from your usual type and expectation. So continue healing your own family issues. This could have been a past life karmic situation for some of you, or you have a new past life soulmate that's coming in that's going to help you be more optimistic about your love life. But there is definitely a karmic energy here with someone that either you're going to reconnect with because they're getting their life together or you're needing to let that person completely go so that someone else could come in. But you definitely have um, past life connections that are coming in. You're meeting people who are a part of your same soul family, soul tribe. Some they're karmic and some they're not. But somebody here definitely like had kids with someone else or you and this person have children. And I feel like it was this X factor like, yeah, spirit is saying you, you're lovable. You deserve love. Don't fall into the temptation that comes with codependency um, that leads to toxicity. But if you can get past that, it's saying this could be the one. And you'll know, like I said, if this uh, forgiving and learning, calling in your soulmate, wow, reconciliation and engagement, <laughs> chemistry and wedding, wow. Okay, so for some of you, there's there's high hope for a situation here. This person could be the one. You just need to work on releasing and healing the past. Calling in your soulmate, it could be someone from the past or someone brand new. Reconciliation, when you're talking about past life connections, you could be reconciling with someone from a past life that you you haven't met this lifetime. But you're you have engagement and wedding out here. And reconciliation, calling in your soulmate. This could be the one. Wow. 